Hani Haji is a television journalist in Somalia. She is among the 40 media professionals in this media workshop on how to cover conflict. Somalia has endured 20 years of political anarchy, war and terrorism. But since the formation of a new government last year and the success of African Union and Somali forces in reducing insurgents' control, the media environment is changing. Reporters now often accompany Somali and AU soldiers on operations against Al-Shabaab insurgents. Because of this, Haji says a new approach is needed. On many occasions here in Mogadishu, we witness several cases that are a threat to peace and security. But the training we are receiving here today will teach us how to approach different cases. For instance, when there is an explosion in the city, the training has taught us how to cover such kind of news. Journalists Union Secretary General Mohamed Ibrahim explains the new approach. The course provides um, materials including protection, self-protection, how the journalist can secure uh, in his life, his newsroom, his family, as well as um, how to deal with the threats, uh, how to deal with the kidnap situations, how to deal with arrests, how to deal with the jackpointes, all those security-related issues. At least two media professionals have been killed in Mogadishu this year. The latest was Yusuf Kainan, an award-winning humanitarian journalist who was killed by a car bomb in June. Ranked among the most dangerous countries for media professionals, journalists in Somalia say that despite the threats, they are committed to informing the public in an effort to contribute to a peaceful future. This hostile environment training also addressed ways in which the media can support the stabilization process. Journalists like Hawa Lul have joined other human rights defenders in calling for peace. It is important that we discuss the problems affecting this country. As a journalist, I must participate in building the peace, listen to and share the different ideas of the Somalis to be able to contribute to the peace programs. With increased stability, female-run radio stations are propping up. At least 13 female journalists took part in the three-day media training. The profession has lately seen an increase in the number of female journalists across Somalia. But with attacks on media professionals still on the rise, journalists hope for a strong government that will put an end to the violence and protect them before more fall victim. Abdul Aziz Bilo for VON News, Mogadishu.